This is very chilling to think about. In 1981, during the Cold War, a man named Roger Fisher was worried that it was too easy for US presidents to launch nukes. All they had to do was ask for a launch code and they would be given it, which he felt wasn't enough. Roger, a Harvard Law School professor, felt that presidents would always be too far away from the death and destruction that nukes would cause to understand the full weight of their own actions. As such, he came up with an extremely controversial decision that he felt could help close this distance. In his own words, put that launch code number in a little capsule and then implant that capsule right next to the heart of a volunteer. The volunteer would carry with him a big heavy butcher knife as he accompanied the president. If ever the president wanted to fire nuclear weapons, the only way he could do so would be for him first with his own hands to kill one human being. He has to look at someone and realize what death is, what an innocent death is. Blood on the White House carpet, its reality brought home. But Roger's friends at the Pentagon would later reject this proposal, claiming it could distort the president's judgment, making it so that he would never launch any nukes. 